What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I have a super special review for you guys on the Louis Vuitton Reverse Eclipse Keepo Bandolier in a size 50. I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag as well as unboxing it and also trying it on for you guys so you guys can see how it looks. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it really really does help out my channel and get my videos shown to more people. And while you're at it, make sure to claim your four free stocks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you gotta do is sign up, you get two stocks for free and another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. So technically it's not an unboxing just because I'm missing the box, but every other thing that it comes with, I have. The box is just absolutely ginormous, so I did not take it home. But just a few things I wanna go over just before I take the bag out of the dust bag. First off being that this is item number M45392. So if you wanna go onto the website, you can go ahead and check it out. And you guys will notice then and there that it is only available in a size 50. It is super limited and also it is completely sold out right now. But I will tell you guys now, at the few recent times that I went into the store, it was available and the retail cost of this bag is $2,050. But some good news for you guys, even though it's super limited and it's been sold out almost every single time that I've looked at the website, market is still gonna be around retail. So right now, the most recent sale on StockX was about $1,950, but the average sale between every single person that purchased via StockX has been $2,043. So it is holding its value very, very well. It's not jumping up too much, but keep in mind that most keep alls do go down in value dramatically from the retail price. So I'll give you guys a quick look at the dust bag just before I take it out. Obviously it'll have Louis Vuitton on here and a really dark navy color. So a lot of the fakes will be a super light blue or it'll be a black, but it should be a super dark navy, which hopefully you guys can see right here, but I'll just pop it out of the dust bag real quick. And boom, we'll have the beautiful Louis Vuitton Reverse Eclipse key ball right here. So I'll give it a little spin for you guys before I go get into all the smaller details of this bag. But you guys can see it's gonna be a different color right here than it is here. And also this side is gonna be Reverse Eclipse and this side is gonna be Regular Eclipse. As you guys can see, the monogram will be um, how it usually is right here, you can see. And then on this side, it is flipped upside down. So that's what they mean by reverse eclipse. It does not mean that this key ball is reversible. It just means that on one side, the monogram eclipse canvas is going to be backwards. And so I mentioned that this bag is a size 50. And what that basically means is that from this end to this end, it's gonna be 50 centimeters. But as far as the measurements when it comes to inches, which you guys probably understand a little bit better than centimeters if you guys live in the US, it is about 20 inches in length. It's gonna be about nine inches tall. And as far as width from here to here, it's gonna be about 11 and a half inches. And taking a closer look, you guys are gonna have the textile lining on all the leather right here. You guys can see if you guys look really closely. And all of the hardware on this bag is gonna be completely silver toned. As you guys can see right here, even on the button, it'll have Louis Vuitton right there, silver toned, as well as the zipper, and even the hardware that will attach the strap right here. And then when Louis Vuitton talks about the sizing of this bag, it is considered cabin size. So what I think they mean by that, I can't say for sure, is basically that it's good for um, the amount of days stay that you usually stay at a cabin, which is probably about three to four days. I do not think that you guys will have any issues fitting four outfits into this bag, maybe some pants, shirts, everything else. Maybe if you're a girl and you're carrying blow dryers and a lot of other toiletries, you might have some difficulty, but it is a very sizey bag as you guys can tell. And I'll try it on for you guys so you guys are able to see that towards the end of the video. With just some last details before I do, obviously it has the double ziplock closure right here as you guys can see, and I'll have the LV on the hardware. And also it's gonna have this leather name tag right here with a little heat stamp, Louis Vuitton Paris. You can obviously slide your ID in here. And also when you guys are buying this from the store, you will have the option to put your initials right here. So in my case, I could put a C for Connor, I could put it a CL for my first and last name and then CPL for complete initials. But I do not recommend that you guys really do that because if you guys ever changed your mind and decided to sell, it is a pain in the butt to get that removed. Um, you can put some sort of paste on it and get it removed, but I've never seen it look perfect. I've seen people take off the initials before and it always looks a little bit faded in that area. And as you guys can see, it's never been done, which is something that I like. And it's just what I recommend doing unless you know for sure you love this bag and you're gonna keep it forever. But just getting this bag unzipped, you guys will be able to see that I have some stuff in here. You guys can see I use this to keep the shape because especially towards the bottom if you're holding anything in this bag and setting it down on a dresser or wherever you guys want to keep it, 
it will cause some sort of creasing right here obviously i don't have any right now because i keep it stuffed and i always recommend that you guys do so but a few details inside of here there's not going to be too many pockets but there is going to be this one zipped pocket i'll just turn around the bag so you guys can see it a little bit better you guys can see it'll unzip and that is where i have the lock keys everything else so here is the materials used on this bag um this is in a different language here's it in english coated fabric cowhide leather trim man-made lining and then we also have the sticker right here m45392 and so if you guys want to go into the store or search it up online again you guys will be able to check it out there you can see size 50 keep all monogram eclipse reverse that's what it stands for right there and the last thing that i keep in here is the lock and key so you guys can see i personally do not really use the lock and key at all but i'm just trying to open this up with one hand uh i've kind of learned too because i make videos with one hand but you guys will be able to see that it's never really been opened because the lock and key is still wrapped up in there if you're able to see um, with that little thin paper to prevent scratching and everything else so i'm just going to keep it like that for now unless i really decide to use it but obviously it'll say louis vuitton right here uh, it looks pretty similar to the big one obviously it's just a smaller version and again it should be dark navy like you guys can hopefully see a little bit better in the light right now but if it's black or it's super light blue on the smaller one or the bigger one you guys automatically know it's fake then and there so here's how it looks on as you guys can tell the reverse eclipse canvas right here you guys can see the little tag you can also see the little double handles right here and also it's really cool that it's eclipse because that is one of my favorite um, canvases out there and it seems to be becoming more and more popular and I also like that it's two different Eclipse canvases and this side is upside down so here's how it looks like from the other side if you guys want to see that I'll just flip it around for you guys and put it over one shoulder so obviously it's gonna look pretty much exactly the same the monogram is just gonna be a little bit different and just a few things that I hadn't gone over yet is a little bit about the strap the strap actually goes along with this bag which makes it a bandolier and for those of you guys who are kind of wondering the strap drop it'll go from about 14 inches to about 20 inches so you guys could obviously wear it a little bit higher up if you guys so choose to around here or you guys could wear it a bit lower obviously whatever works and whatever you prefer you could be tall skinny um, thick shorter and you guys could get it to fit however you want because even though it's only about six inches ish it'll go a long way and obviously also you guys have the option to carry it by the handle right here as you guys can see, which I usually don't do, especially if I'm carrying a lot of stuff in this bag. Any keepable at all that has that big strap, I usually use it most of the time, unless I'm walking a short distance or maybe I'm just moving from one table to another and I have some stuff inside of it. And yeah, that's just the most simple way of wearing it. But obviously you guys have the option to use the handle right here if that's what you guys prefer. And also a few product care ideas that I wanted to go over towards the end of the video. Uh, just before I do that, if you guys have not already liked and subscribed, please make sure to do so. It does take a lot of effort to get these videos out and get all these items in hand. I review some of the craziest hype and design items on YouTube. So make sure to go ahead and like, subscribe, and also go ahead and check out some of my other videos after this one's over. But just to keep this bag lasting as long as possible, whenever you guys are setting it on a surface, make sure you guys are lifting it straight up rather than dragging it. So many people tend to drag these bags, and as you guys can tell, there's no wear whatsoever towards the bottom, but that is usually the first place that you guys will go ahead and see it. And also make sure you guys are keeping it in the dust bag when you're not using it, because if you're leaving it out in the light and maybe sun's coming through your window, you guys will notice that one side might get faded over a long period of time, especially if you get just sitting there for a long period of time. So make sure to leave it in the dust bag and take advantage of it and even the box if you guys want to. And lastly, make sure to keep it away from damp surfaces because that is probably um, the kryptonite of this coated canvas because you guys will notice if you rub like a super wet washcloth or whatever else, it will start to fade the canvas, especially with some pressure. So make sure that you guys aren't doing so because even though if you do it a couple times, you guys won't notice anything over time. And especially if you get in the habit of not taking the best care of this bag, it will not last you as long as it should. And this bag should last you a really long time when you guys are paying upwards of $2,000 for it. But I really love this bag. Honestly, it is one of my favorite key balls out there. There are a lot of key balls that I mentioned to you guys that I really love, but this is one that I love and that I would actually wear because you can wear it with pretty much anything. A lot of the other exotic Louis Vuitton key balls, you're a little bit scared to wear and you really got to dress around it and make sure it's the right environment and everything else. But this one goes along with everything is super different than a lot of the key balls and has compliments such as the upside down um, eclipse canvas as well as the strap that just make it a great key ball and honestly would make me say that it is worth the price tag especially 
because if you guys were to buy it from the store and then changed your mind, you guys would have no issue getting at least close to your money back. But let me know what you guys think. Is that just my opinion or do you guys think so as well? Because from what I hear, this is one of the top key balls out there right now, especially because it still is in some stores. So let me know what you guys think. I personally think it's going to go up in value, especially when it's not on the website anymore and in absolutely no stores at all. But if you guys disagree, let me know. If you guys agree, let me know. And also let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel. I'm happy to bring videos for you guys that you guys want to see. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe before leaving this video. And also make sure to check out some of my other videos. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.